African delicious soul food. And that is the reason why our African food is having problem right now. You see everywhere, keto fufu, I don't want it. I want OJ African food and taste. Or your fat cells in your body are saying that thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> keep eating your fufu, keep eating your banku, keep eating your yam, keep eating everything you are used to, your pap, your moi moi, your everything. My perfect African food day starts with pop off or tobe or bofrot with some pap and some <laughs> lemongrass tea. And actually, I would like to have my lemongrass in the water I use to cook my pap. And then around midday, I want to eat something like ekwang ero or fufu and jamanjama or timbana musa. <laughs> and then in the evening, I want some achu. I want some ah, people like. If I count all those calories, we are around 4,000. Eating African food is going to make us put on weight. But that's not the truth. I'm going to give you both five tips how you can still eat African food and stay snatched. So we have to know something about our food. It is the food was made for people. We were supposed to walk like hard work, walk to the farm, work hard. Even the cooking process, fire, fresh water, like even to prepare the onions. Like I can buy even sliced onions already. I can buy diced tomatoes. I can buy peeled potatoes. I can like cassava, everything. Like the process of cooking, you don't spend that much energy anymore, even to have fire, everything. So it was another living style. Okay, but now, we don't move as much. We don't spend that much energy even in the preparation. Like imagine you can buy even arrow already sliced and everything. You can buy <laughs> I remember my my uh, my grandmother my grandmother used to do that her aqua the, 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 the juice for achu soup herself and it is a whole process like the preparation nobody is ready for that even the spices for achu you can buy it already powdered and if you don't want to buy it powder there's a machine you can use a machine to powder it this coffee grinder to make your your achu spices like i remember the on the <laughs> on the grinding stone we were like almost 20 minutes just to make it small okay so first tip is eat and move just eat and move as much as our grandparents did if you are not ready to move then comes tip number two which is going to be don't eat three meals of african food in the day but just one like think of what you really want to eat what you're craving what am i craving right now mm, i'm craving um Kwa koko and uh, granati with okra and I'm keeping it for dinner that's why I'm going to eat for dinner so only one meal okay and actually our grandparents did not eat breakfast lunch dinner supper whatever no 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 I room I can I can my, my grandma ate two meals per day and sometimes even only one so she was already intermittent fasting so it was only fair that her food was calorie dense better like because she was eating highest twice a day okay but we eat you know our it is said we should eat breakfast lunch dinner supper and and snack and whatever which is too much and if you want to keep that food for those long days you are going to explode so if you are not ready to eat only two meals per day then i'm going to give you tip three then don't eat it every day, like eat it highest four or five times per week or at most, like I would say three days per week African food is it's going to be fine, okay? If you still can't eat African food for only five days or three to five days per week, then I'm going to give you tip four, which is going to be cook it as our grandparents used to cook it 
okay so back in the days actually things like meat and fat they were not that common like if you know the process of pounding um, palm oil you know having just to boil it like this is another thing it was a luxus uh, item it's not for nothing that um, in dowry's list original and normal and human dowry list there's palm oil okay it's because it was something you just have to put a little and the quality was so high you need just a little bit and your your anyways your dish was excellent okay so but now palm oil is almost everywhere due to industrialization and sometimes the quality is not good it's more you have to put more 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 of it to have the result you want okay and oil has that much too much uh, caloric like 100 milliliters of oil is 900 calories like imagine if you see a normal pot of hero the water the, the water in hero is <laughs> It's oil or a normal African stew. Oh, like stew. Imagine jollof rice. Say, I'm going to fry. Jollof is fried, like it cook normally and fried. And some people, even in the, in the process of cooking rice, simple normal rice, they have to fry onions and like fat is everywhere. So cookies, are, as our parents used to cook it, like rice. I don't know. Rice it was just water and salt. But now our food is like status symbol. We want to show we've made it a lot of oil, a lot of meat and uh, nuts. Like a goosey soup is no more that like, you have to have those chunks of uh, a goosey to make sure that, yes, I can afford a goosey. I have money. So, but our parents, they did not eat those food each and every day. Like it was like, I remember this sentence you used to say, um, it is not married food like they they quote that that complicated and too much oil and too much everything of like you are sometimes you're even looking for the soup everywhere is meat and oil or chunks of egusi or people cook it keep it simple if you don't want to move then don't eat every day if you want to eat every day then reduce the quantity or the the the, the density the caloric density of the food okay i'm going to give you the last point which i had and it is actually to cook modified version like if you still want to have all those juicy and juiciness um, we should get away from our modern way of cooking um those African delicious soul food dishes like you know I always say good food is soul food like why I want to eat it every day <laughs> I want it to be tasty and I don't want to get fat and that is the reason why our African food is having problem right now you see everywhere keto fufu I don't want it I don't I don't look it is disgusting let us be <laughs> <laughs> it is this it looks like it draws like but no i want oj food i want oj african food and taste okay so we are going to be doing african food but modified not even modified i will say original version like the fat in egusi soup came from egusi egusi alone has 25 percent of fat which is more than enough and the problem with our meat showing that we can afford meat and expensive meat and goat's meat and everything is most of the time our the chunks on the part we don't remove the fat out of the meat that is another source of much calorie like the highest way for you to get calories is to eat fat <laughs> is to eat fatty food like like you, you need just a little portion and you have a lot of it but another problem is the combination of fat and and sugar meaning carbohydrates it's like your your fat cells in your body are saying that like, thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you <laughs> so that's not that's what we should not do but if you really go back in the old j african way of making food like ogali or something it's just plain carbohydrate those people were almost i would say 90 percent um veget um vegetarian like they there was there was maybe a meat but just a little like 50 gram portion of animal protein per day 
to my to my knowledge so so either you eat only once or twice a day if you want to have african food in each and every of your meal make sure it's not each and every day of the week and uh, you move you move as our parents but i don't think that we can we can make it our mother life is too modern <laughs> and fourthly you eat modified version or, or the original version yeah so if you are going to do a loco maybe you are not going to fry it or deep fry plantains you are going to do air fry plantains and fish person braise and fish as we say in cameroon it's not bad it's also tasty but you not deep frying those plantains or that yam you had maybe getting i would say 300 calories less in which on the long run is a lot it's a huge lot okay so those were my tips i think i didn't forget anything if not i will let you know in the comment section and in the description box yes we are in all this together african food does not make people get fat mm? it is the modern version of african food that makes us fat keep eating your fufu keep eating your banku keep eating your yam keep eating everything you are used to your pap your moi moi your everything that was me for today bye and stay curious as always and african foodie <laughs> because good food is soul food <laughs>